I was power hungry. I don't know, but I was like, no, I'm gonna go do this. Like I can do these things that all these attorneys are doing. There's no reason I can't. Hi, I'm Victoria Abbott and this is how I got into law school. Some of the best things is just the actual learning environment. I really enjoyed my classes. I enjoyed the internships I took on. The other thing that's so great about law school is you build a community and you make really good friends. It is a competitive environment, but still to this day, one of my very best friends is someone I met in law school. The worst part, it's very mentally taxing. I think the competitive nature of law school and competing against your colleagues and peers, the workload, it's just a lot to balance. Managing your cool during law school is the hardest part. I think you could stay up all night in the library if you wanted to. I wasn't that student. I was really committed to having some semblance of balance in my life. You could always do more, but you have to know when to step away and say, okay, this is enough. It wasn't until I was in undergrad and I worked for the university president. In that same office, there were a few individuals who also had law degrees and they had law backgrounds and then had integrated into higher education and were using their law degrees not to practice law but in other capacities. From there, I think it just got my mind kind of thinking of what would it be like to go to law school? Is this something I could do? I ended up working in a law firm for about a year, actually as a receptionist just to be exposed to law and after that year I was sold I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna jump in I'm gonna do this I thought I'll get the law degree and I probably won't practice law I'll go do something like in higher education maybe I'll become a dean I worked for the public defender's office I worked for the city attorney in Santa Ana and then I did a family law externship and I loved it I just love that family law it has such a human connection and from there I really felt like, yeah, this is this fits me, this fits my personality and aligns really well with just my morals and my values outside of even a professional standpoint. And now I'm in it and I love it and I can't see myself really doing anything else. I think my ultimate goal is to, to continue to improve and to become a better attorney and people see family law as just drama filled or I don't know, I think there's these misconceptions but the truth is, is unfortunately divorce touches a lot of people and a lot of families and it's an unfortunate part of our lives but if we can just make it a little bit easier for our clients that's that's what I want to be able to do you know my advice uh, with respect to going to law school would be to really think about it explore your options um, research the schools make sure the school has a fit like the right cultural fit for you different law schools offer different cultures i would also say to if you're going to do it commit you know believe in yourself there's going to be times where you doubt whether or not you can do it but i tell everybody this who asked me about law school you can do it you just have to be willing to put in the work put your head down and get it done and that's really my that's really my advice